Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and since the last time we recorded this, I looked up how to make a tank. I'm sure there were comments. I haven't seen the last video. Uh, it hasn't gone out yet, but I'm sure there will be comments reminding me that, Reese, you nope, you've done this before. You should know. And you're not wrong. I should. Is there any sound? Why is there no sound? Hold on a second. What's going on here? Another sound. Why, why wasn't there sound when I was breaking the tank? You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. I should remember how to do this. I did an entire 100 episode. There's the sound. Tech It Legends. Maybe y'all could hear it all along. Maybe I was just talking over the sound and I couldn't hear it over myself. That sounds about right, honestly. Uh, yeah, I did this whole Tech It Legends thing, 100 episodes of it. And then I went on and did, what, another 20 Texit episodes? Texit 2 or not Texit. Was it Texit? Hexit? Te Texit? Is that, is that what it's called? Tech It and Hexit together? Texit? Oh my gosh, for a second I started thinking about my own series, Tech It Texan, that everyone uh, had had the issue with, had taken umbrage with, and for a moment I just sort of lost myself in that. There we go, we got that block back. I have come to the decision also that we're not going to be using silver blocks as roads, that's dumb. We'll just make a whole bunch of concrete, I guess. I did previously turn all of the concrete into scrap, and I realize now what a mistake that was. But, you know, there's no turning back because it's all already been turned. We can't we can't reverse the hands of time, unfortunately. What we can do is make strides here and now to be better. <laughs> this is sort of just the same speech as last time. Uh, to be better, do better, and build some tank walls. These are gauges. I don't know why I made a bunch of tank gauges. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Can I do anything with glass panes? Can I rebuild them into regular glass? Hold on, what was that? Facade. Oh, I thought it was something more interesting than that. I was just curious as to whether or not I could return them to regular glass, you know, somehow. That would be cool, but probably not. So, we've got to we've got to figure this out. When I say I looked up the directions, they're open next to me and I'm currently not reading them because, dadgummit, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. I want to figure this out sort of as we go. That's what's good for me. That's... That's where I find joy in this sort of thing, is not actually knowing what I'm doing and then figuring it out as time passes. So, we will get some iron tank walls, and I don't know why I'm making so many of them, but it doesn't hurt. We have 32 now. If I had to guess, I'm not going to look over at the wiki if I don't have to, but if I had to guess, I would say they go something like this, right? So we go across, and then they go up in the corners, and I don't remember how tall we were going to make this. I guess four tall is what's happening. And then we got to put the Animaniacs in here because don't they live in the Warner Brothers water tower? And then we have the tank gauges. I don't know if we need more than one tank gauge. Does it say? Multi-block? It doesn't say. I'm, I'm assuming we can probably use more than one. And then the final thing that we need to do is on the bottom here. I don't think you have to do it on the bottom, but we're going to add our valve on the bottom. That's what's going to allow us to feed items into it. And I think that might be it. I don't know what a rain tank is. It might, it's from forestry. It might just collect rainwater. Potentially, that sounds pretty cool. Well, look at this. Tank sensor cards for open uh, CC sensors. That must be open computer craft or whatever. Tanks. I mean, this is an option. They're skinny and you can make them really tall and it's sort of not ideal. But that's what we've got to work with here. Wow. Okay. Bars and a lever. Have we made bars yet? We're going through, I love that, you know, as part of this series, this little addendum to the end of the uh, series proper, we're just doing this fun thing where we go through and we make all of the vanilla blocks <laughs> as sort of just, you know, a bit of an aside. It's like, okay, well, we, we didn't get a chance to make bars previously, but now we can make as many bars as we want to. It's going to be a blast. And they do have an EMC value, so there we go in the future. We never have to make them again. They'll be ready for us at our disposal. Need to hold down that shift button. Get ourselves some iron tank valves. A whole, like, eight of them. I think we just need the one. And there, there, there you go. Bob's your uncle. That should be a tank. It, it certainly doesn't look like... Oh, crowbar? Do I need a crowbar? I might need a crowbar. Maybe that's it. Again, I haven't read the directions. Oh, cow is not right. Definitely don't need a cow. A crowbar and a reinforced crowbar. This one has an EMC value. It's iron and rose red. We should have red dye. I made a point of putting it in here previously. And then we still have iron in our inventory. So there we go. We'll get one of those bad boys. And we'll hold on to it because we might be able to just make the reinforced one with that one. No, we would need steel and we don't have steel. And I'm not about to make steel. Maybe we've made steel before. Does steel have an EMC value? 
No. And I don't think we've made it. So what, just right click with this? Oh! Oh, it does say that it's an iron tank. It just doesn't look like one? What's going on with that? I thought it would form into like a full... Hold on, let's break that piece. Is it still an iron tank? What if I right click? Okay, so now it's not an iron tank. And then I put this block back. Oh! I see the middle got invisible. Can I use these on the corners? I would like to use gauges on the corners. I would like the inside to be... Our, our sort of the walls to be clear all the way around. No, I cannot. The game will not permit, unfortunately. Well, that's fine. I guess that was the mistake we were making last time. So, and I've just done it again. Just absolutely done it again. Why are the gauges... Look at the... Hold on. Look at the gauges right now on my hotbar. You seeing that? Look, now they look like gauges. Now, now they don't? And it's not just the colors on my monitor. I don't know what that's all about. I checked up on the recording just now to make sure. Okay, so there's our tank. And it now looks absolutely awful with these iron scaffoldings. I thought they would look a little bit better than they ended up looking. But, you know, here we are. Are we going to... What are we going to do with the silver? How does the silver look next to these tanks? Um, can we, like, shift click? Oh, hold on. That's just tank wall right there. Well, can we... Can, um, I don't know if that's going to work. We can try. What I was going to say is, can we just build the tank wall out of the the, the tank wall? Uh, the tank struts out of the tank wall? Words are difficult sometimes. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not super eloquent. I mean, I just use the word super and eloquent together, which is not a super eloquent move. Uh, should we leave this base out of... Out of silver? You're right. That's dumb. Let's not do that either. If we're going to make concrete, we'll probably end up making the base out of concrete. Maybe we should just use some basic material. Should we have wooden roads? That doesn't sound super premium, does it? The whole idea was that this is a super premium town. Wooden roads does not sound super premium at all. All right, so we need a new structure for that. If I take an iron tank wall, and uh, we don't have a whole lot of them, let's get let's get one thing out of our inventory immediately. Let's get that out of here. Get rid of all of these things. I, I don't know if we're going to need more... I don't think we're going to need two stacks of glass panes at any point. So let's scrap half of them and we'll hold on to the other half. You know, just in case we do end up needing them. We'll, we'll scrap the 56 and then we'll put the 64 in our chest of things we don't know what to do with. And let's put the iron tank gauges in there. We'll put all of this stuff, the scaffolding, the iron plates, because it might all come in handy later. Oh, we do have steel. Where did I get steel from? Why did I make it? Crushed steel ore? That's a thing? Uh, maybe we've been mining it up. Another one bites the dust is the name of the mod the steel comes from. Interesting. I don't I don't know what that's all about. Creeper head? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, way back in the mind. We got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side. Okay. Let's see what happens if we add this to the bottom. Okay, it doesn't appear to break the tank. That's good cuz what I wanted to do was because the tank wall sort of matches the tank itself was use the tank wall as the sort of structural support. And at an angle there, it definitely should work. But should it match the tank? That's the real question. Now I'm having second thoughts about that. We're going to need to make some more of this either way. So let's head back inside. Wasn't that just the rolled out iron in sort of a circle? Where did that go? I know we threw it in here. There it is. Iron plates in a circle. We'll give us more than enough. We now have too many iron tank walls. What are we going to do with all of these iron tank walls? I don't know. Let's complete the structure as is, and we'll see kind of what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. I wanted it to have sort of a three-dimensional look, though. I didn't want it to be the legs directly underneath it, because I feel like that's a bit bleh, you know what I mean? So something like this, uh, not that. We're going to spend another whole episode on this stupid water tower, aren't we? Oh, it looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrible. We're going to have to do something, because this just looks bad. What if I did this? And then we had this come up around the sides. It looks too... It looks too clean. It looks clinical, almost. And I'm just making it worse. I'm making it worse as we go. We should have made the steel tanks. That's what we should have done. And then we should have given it a wooden frame. And then we wouldn't be in this situation. I can save this. <laughs> I... I believe that I can save this. Hold on a second. Let's get a darn pump. Have we made one of those yet? Have we made a water pump? I don't think we've pumped water at all. We've got a pumpkin. What goes into a pump? We, we should probably have a couple of options. There's the industrial craft one, which I don't want. 
this is the ticket right here. And we're going to have to make some of the other type tanks for it, which we probably should have just made in the first place. So, so what? Get some glass, get some iron. I wonder if you folks could comment down below and let me know. Do you get tired of me constantly having to reference back to these uh, instructions? Because I do forget them pretty, pretty regularly. Do you ever get tired of me having to go back here and check one more time what ingredients is necessary? This is why I kind of like packs where you have something like some sort of sorting system where you you know you don't have to do this you just you open it up you click the button if you have all the items it pulls it in you never have to leave the inventory to double check the recipe i really dig those packs those are great so things like stone blocks stone block two sky factories things of that nature dad come on i gotta get back in the habit okay we got the pump let's clear out the inventory one more time and we should be able to plop the plop the pump probably here do we need to interface with this thing let me check here let me see if we need to interface no there doesn't appear to be any kind of interface there so if we just click the pump there now we need to power the pump oh the pump looks dumb hanging down there look at this horrible monstrosity that we have built oh no oh that's rather unfortunate looking isn't it i don't like this at all let's get rid of the legs we're getting rid of the legs. We're going to replace the legs. I'm not happy with them. My gosh, I wish Vein Mine was in here. Uh, just get rid of all of these in one hit. We're, what we're going to end up having to do, I think, is try to build some sort of a wooden structure instead to completely encase the metal one. I mean, I know most water towers are made from metal. You know, you see them, they're big old, but it's usually like a rusty looking metal or it's painted. It's painted, you know, like the college football covers because the city went to the college and were like, hey, don't you want to to help pay for this new water tower? And the college is like, no. And they're like, we'll, we'll, we'll paint it the color of your, your ball foot kicking team. You know, the only reason you exist as a university. I'm like, oh, well, there's an idea. Okay, we'll pay for that. Uh, do we have any sort of education institution here in town? I don't think so. What would they be called? The Twin Horses uh, f football team. What kind of football? Is it? Is it the American football with the elongated ball that very rarely comes in contact with people's feet? Or is it sort of the universal football? Uh, no one knows for sure. No one knows for sure, and no one's really asking. What about logs? What are my log options? Is it just wood? That's what it is. We've only got the one type? The oak? Okay. Maybe let's do sort of a, you know, some of these urban cities now, I've seen this. They're starting to do this thing where they disguise uh, cell towers and whatnot as trees and, you know, try to preserve some sense of, of nature in, in a world full of radio signals and the government reading your brain and all that. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should turn this into a tree and just make it look like it's part of nature. Uh Somehow I do like that a little bit better. And then what we can do is we can come in under here and look at that. You can't see the pump anymore. That's grand. That is really good. And we'll do the same up at the top. And then we can get our saw. Oh my gosh, I've got an idea. I've got such an idea right now. Just wait for me to tell you about my idea. I'm not going to tell you now because I don't want to spoil it. I want the idea to be a surprise. Damn, we ran out of wood. Well, the idea is about to get spoiled because we're going to grab a saw. And uh, then we're going to grab some logs. Oops, no, I'm sorry, some wood. I didn't even... I apologized for accidentally typing in log when I never actually typed it in. It is called log, though, right? Like in newer versions of the game, or am I crazy? What we're then going to do is we're going to grab our birch wood and our diamond saw. We're going to make maybe 10 of those, and then we're going to make 20 of those, and then 40 of these, and then... Okay, that's as thin as they get. And we're going to plate this bad boy so that it looks like wood... Oh, oh! now this, this is, we're getting somewhere finally. At long last, we are getting somewhere. Look at that. Oh, that is fabulous. Because now it could almost be just someone's hat. Well, it definitely doesn't look like a tree, does it? So much for my urban planning. This looks better, though. This looks way better. We're going to go for a, a foresty theme in this town. We're going to go for a lived-in forest appeal. So... You know, you, you want to get back into nature. You want to live in a big city. You want to live in a bustling city, but you don't want to feel like you're just, you know, one of the ants in, in an... I, I don't know where I'm going with this. All I'm saying is sometimes it's nice to walk outside and, you know, have a breath of fresh air. And, wow, we made the exact perfect amount. Beautiful. 
Okay, so there's the water tower. That's where all the fresh water is going to go. Now, how does the water get in? How does the water get out? These are things I haven't thought of yet. I think we can add a tap up here on the top, and that will allow us to drain as long as it's full. But maybe we don't need to do that. What we do need to do is throw a torch up here, though, so nothing can spawn. Oh, do you think we could, this place could double as, you know, like some sort of a light tower for airplanes or something? Let's just put some glowstone on top. And then... At night, the top of that will glow. We'll need to do something else to the top of it, though, because it does look quite blech at the moment. Uh, now we need to power the pump. It's not enough that the pump's just coming out down there. But first off, we need to grab ourselves some more rebar. Some of you may remember previously I made the mistake of scrapping all of the rebar. That that was a mistake, and I'm the type of person who can admit my mistakes. Um, it's mostly y'all's fault, though. It's y'all's fault that I made that mistake. So we'll let all that rebar get made. And then we should be able to make lots and lots of concrete. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. We're really getting places. I mean, this feels like a small achievement, a small step in the right direction. Now, what's going to go on top of it? What's going to top it off? Should we make it look like a tree? A gigantic tree? Yeah, we should. Okay, let's do that. Do we have leaves? We don't have leaves, but we should have shears. Uh, yeah, we've got... The, well, hold on. Doesn't this shear? I think the guitar shears... So we just need a couple of leaves for reference. What kind of leaves? Do we want the birch leaves? I don't think we do. I, should we go on a search for some exotic leaves? There we go. I think just a regular leaf ought to do it. If it has an EMC value, it does. Okay. So we can now search for a leaf. Get a stack of them. And then I got to figure out... <laughs> okay. So do we start from like this level? We, we might go up an additional level. Hold on a minute. Let's break these. Let's, uh, there we go. And the great thing is we can, oh, did it just give me a, a sapling? It did. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. We need some more logs. And you know what else we need? We need to watch a flowing time so we can freeze time and it'll stop being dark. That's dumb. Let's just go to bed. That seems like a lot of hassle. Just carrying this watch around in our inventory. Eventually I'm going to forget about it. I'm going to convert it back to EMC. Uh, we'll sleep in Jenna's bed. No one tell her on the Discord. She doesn't need to know. I don't think she's coming back, so it's not like it matters. Uh, definitely, definitely, she doesn't need to know that. Let's grab some more logs. We'll grab, not logs, but wood. And then we'll build up... How tall does this tree need to be? So I guess all of this can kind of go in this direction, right? And then, because all of this is going to be a sort of the backdrop, you're never going to see the wood because all of this is going to be covered in leaves. So starting at this level here, we'll put leaves all around kind of like that. And then we'll have to go out and have it taper towards the top. Oh, you know what the city can do? Oh my gosh. When it's Christmas season, they can decorate this giant tree. And it'll be a tourist event. You'll be sitting in like the big city. Uh, you know, it, it's cramped full of people. You're like, oh, I hate this. The smog, the smell, the people. I wish I could get away for the weekend. And then on the TV, you've got this really low budget, uh, small town commercial comes up. Like, Come out to our town where we've got the world's biggest artificial Christmas tree water tower combination. Uh, a hotel is available at a reasonable rate. And that's true. They are available at a reasonable rate, except around Christmas time, at which point they spike the prices because they know a lot of people are coming out to look at the giant Christmas tree. Uh, and you're just sitting there and you're like, oh, you know what? That actually sounds really great. I would love to go look at this giant artificial water tower Christmas tree. And you talk to the kids about it. And they're like, now we want to stay home and play Fortnite. But you say, shut up. And you throw them in the truck and you come out and you pay the exorbitant price to stay a night in a hotel and maybe there's bugs in the bed. Maybe there's not. Depends on which room you get. And you really enjoy it, though. You go out for the lighting of the Christmas tree. And, you know, they float, throw the switch. And like, yay! And then, and then, of course, the power across the entire town shuts down. Because old Dave didn't do his job. He didn't get the, uh, the, the breakers on correctly. So, you know, the power system shut down. We're, we're not giving them a super beefy power system. We're just going to slap down some solar panels and call it a day. Uh, so, you know, but hey, once they throw the breaker and the lights come on, you'll all sing Silent Night, Oh Holy Night together, and then you can buy some overpriced hot chocolate. Oof, but it's not called hot chocolate. That's what the city folks call it. This is hot cocoa. It's the same thing, but it sounds more Christmassy. And if you ask, they'll put a little bit of a something something in there. And of course, I am talking about peppermint. 
I don't know if you were thinking they were going to put some alcohol in the drink. I, I know you can use them after dealing with those kids, right? Mom, there's no service out here in the middle of nowhere. Why is there no service? We can't play Fortnite on the Switch. You're just like, is that what Jesus wants? Jesus wants you playing Fortnite on the Switch. I don't think so. Shut up. Oh, should we turn this into like a radio tower too so the kids can play Fortnite on the Switch? Because ideally, you want the kids to enjoy themselves. You know, if they don't enjoy themselves, they're not going to beg and plead to come back the next year. And you kind of want them to be begging and pleading. So, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, one. I'm trying to figure out how to taper this to where this tree isn't so massive and we're here for years trying to do this. I think that's going to be about how we do it right there. So, kind of three down here on the bottom. And uh, yeah, we'll stick a radio antenna up on the top. That'll be good. That'll be solid. And then that way, when you bring little Timmy and you're trying to get him to look at the Christmas train, because of course we're going to have a Christmas. No, that means I have to get into Railcraft. Never mind. There is no train. <laughs> we're not going to be here that long. This series is only going to go to episode 50, at which point we'll be able to pat ourselves on the back and say, look at that. In the course of a month, I made 50 episodes of a thing. It's my greatest achievement, and I'm super proud. And uh, let's never do it again. Uh, so no railcraft, sorry, no Christmas train. But you are trying to get him to watch as they, I don't know, maybe we'll leave some jetpacks lying around so they can have some jetpack performers fly around and pretend to be Santa's elves or some nonsense. Like, oh, look, Timmy. And Timmy doesn't have to pretend to be interested. He can just play on his Switch. Oh, maybe that's another selling feature. Maybe we can be like, kids, get your parents to bring you out here to our town. They can look at all the Christmas decorations and pine for a simpler time when you weren't alive. And you can play Fortnite on our complimentary Nintendo Switches with the world's fastest internet connection. And Ninja, maybe, if he'll return our phone calls, will be here. Because, of course, they're going to try to get Ninja there. And Ninja can be like, all right, guys, we're going to light the Christmas tree. Everyone do the Carlton with me or whatever that thing the dance was he was trying to get the people to do when he did the, the New Year's Eve event for some reason because I guess that's where we are now as a society. Randos on the internet are doing Christmas Eve events. I, I weep for humanity every time I think about it. But of course, you know, we can get for we can get him in there. It'll be great. Look, I know a lot of you probably have your doubts. A lot of you are thinking, Reese, how can you pull all of this together? And what I'm going to tell you, the, the easy answer... Uh, some of you should have figured it out already, is uh, I'm not. I'm not going to be here come Christmas time. These are the promises I am giving to the people moving in. It's up to them to make it happen. They don't have to make it happen. It's their town. They can do whatever they want. I'm just presenting ideas. I'm an ideas man, you know? I'm going to say, hey, you need a thriving economy when you move into this town that I built for you. It's got this gigantic tree, which has really increased the property value. And, uh, you know, if you have a property tax system in place, it's going to be really expensive to live here. So what you want to do is you want to increase tourism, and that'll increase the revenue to the government. And then you can get a tax break. Uh, this whole city can get the uh, tax break. You can cut everyone's property taxes because of how much revenue is coming into the city from tourism. But then what you end up doing is you elect people who don't actually cut your taxes, even though the city has too much money. Instead, they siphon it off to their friends and loved ones. Uh, you know, like, oh, there's a pothole over here. Better pay my cousin Dale way too much money to come fill it in. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hey, Dale. <laughs> and then you're real mad about your property taxes going up. But when it comes time to vote every two years, you go in and you reelect the same bloodsuckers who raised your taxes. And they probably even ran on the fact that, hey, you know what, guys? These property taxes are too expensive. Vote for me and I'll bring it down. But you don't actually pay attention to what's happening in your local elections. So you don't realize that that guy telling you that has voted 12 times to raise your property taxes. And where's that money going? I thought it would be really cool if we had a statue of me. Because I, I, I just thought that would be neat, you know, for my kids and stuff when they come over. And, you know, you're getting really irritated with the system and all that. And you try to go out and you talk to your neighbors. And you're like, don't you think it's ridiculous? Do you really think we need a statue of this guy? And they're like, no, no, that is crazy. No, you're right. I'm I'm definitely not going to vote for him again. I'll, I'll look into the other candidates. But they don't look into the other candidates. And then it comes time to vote for him again. And uh, yeah, they just like, oh, well, I, I know him. I recognize that name. He's been doing this for a while. So he's got to be a good guy, right? And no, he's not a good guy. He's a horrible guy. You shouldn't have reelected him. He's the worst. But there you go. You reelect him again. And the same city council 
and the same mayor they you know they take office and nothing ever changes and your property taxes continue to go up and that's it we're done for today and i was right i predicted that we would still be working on this water tower by the end of the episode and i'll be darned if that's not exactly what's going on here but that's okay because it's a pretty good looking water tower tree it's gonna have to be a lot taller than i initially thought it would be i thought we could taper it out real quick but i realize now it's starting to look like a bit of a mushroom so maybe we can't maybe we need to bump this one up to three and then bump the next one up to three and then we can bring it down to two and then finally one but this is gonna be great i just hope that there's no griefers in town oh that's what the youth are gonna be doing isn't it you know those darned youth you always read about in the newspapers uh, going out and they're, they're doing horrible stuff. They're tearing up the playground equipment. They're starting forest fires. And, uh, you know, Smokey the Bear told them only you can prevent forest fires. And they're like, or cause them. And next thing you know, they're burning the water tower. What irony! What rich irony! They're burning the water tower. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, look, all I'm saying is pay attention to what's going on in your city council. Hold people responsible. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you. Catch you in the next one. Bye!